Hey man, you ain't subscribed yet? Stop playing games, man. Like, share, subscribe, hit the like button, hit the bell, the, the bell button, do the comments. Let's go. Deuteronomy 10 and 12. Read that. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10 and verse 12. And now, Israel, what do the Lord thy God require of thee? So this is the requirement God has of us. All right. This is the requirement God had for his people. Read on. But to fear the Lord thy God. We must fear God. Read on. Yes. To walk in all his way. We got to walk in the commandments of God. And to love him. What does it mean to love God? To, to fear him, to know his word. Okay, what else? To know? Is that uh -oh, it? Oh, no. Have a relationship with commandments. Okay, it's just like my sister, uh, Vicky, right? Nikki. Nikki. Dang. I said it right like three times. <laughs> Nikki. Nikki. Nikki and Felicia. Yes. Nikki. How do you know if your daughter loves you? That's your daughter? How do you know if she loves you? How? Huh. There you go. I mean, she's going to do what you tell her to do. If you say, hey, clean your room by the time I get home, and she say, no, mom. Right, right. <laughs> you know she don't love you. And she's probably going to get a butt whooping. I know my kid going to get a butt whooping. That's right. Yes, I, I am an advocate of whooping kids' asses. Bring it up. I'm an advocate. I am an advocate. And you know what? God is an advocate. That's right. God says, tear their rumps up. That's right. And you know what's crazy? Just go with that. We don't see that today. We see right. kids going crazy. Yeah. Just yeah. just going, doing all types of crazy stuff yeah. because they're not being disciplined. disciplined. Right. right. And I don't think discipline is staying in the corner. Bring it Bring out. It out. I don't think that's discipline. Right. God says, tear their rump up. That's right. That's what God say. So I'm going to teach that, and I believe that. So read that. Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 12. Bring it and now Israel, what do the Lord God require of thee? But to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways, and to love him. And to love him. To love God means to do what he tells you to do. Yes, That's right. Keep his commandments. Read. And to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. To keep the commandments of the Lord and his statutes which I command thee this day. So we're going to go over a couple commandments for y'all. And y'all going to have to prove to God if y'all love him or not. That's right. We're going to see. Deuteronomy, you know what I want. Go ahead. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22 and verse 5. The woman shall not wear which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall they shall a man put on a woman's garment. What's a woman's garment? What's a woman's dress code? Oh, God says a man should not. Yourself. The way you dress. How you God dress? says a man should not put on a woman's garment. Oh, gay, like being a uh, uh, being woman, uh, gender, right? Not yet. We're going over apparel. Right what is that? What is the woman's garment? A dress. Thank you. A dress. You see that today, don't you? You see a lot of men dressing like women, cross dressing. What yeah. they call it? Uh, drag queens. Yeah. You see that a lot everywhere, right? Yeah. God says men are not supposed to dress like women. Right. So if a woman's apparel is a dress, what's a men's apparel? Don't dress like a dude. What is men's apparel? Pants. 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 So if women, if men dressing like a woman is a sin, Get out. is women dressing like men a sin? Yes. What'd you say, Nikki? I said I would say yes. You would say yes. Let's read it from the top. Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Bring it out. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So God says the woman is not supposed to wear which pertains to a man. Not supposed to wear which pertains to a man. That's right. So a woman ain't supposed to wear what? Pants. That's right. Why is that? You know how, you ever watch Medea? I grew up watching Medea. Yeah. I'm, from, I'm from South Florida. We watched Medea heavy. We watched every Medea play I done seen when I was little. When a man puts on a dress, it puts an effeminate spirit on him. Bring it out. A man cannot put on a dress and act like a man. Right. You understand? Right. A man cannot put on a dress and then proclaim to be a man. Right. He puts on an effeminate spirit. Right. That's right. It's just like a woman wearing pants. 
pants puts on emasculine spirit on a woman. Right. Vice versa, same thing. So God says women are supposed to wear dresses. That's right. Modest apparel. Get that real quick. Get that. Real quick. Modest apparel. What's going on, brothers? What's your name? Eric. Eric, what's your name, bro? Alpas. I'm sorry? Alpas, Alpas. Eric, Alpas? Yeah, Alpas. Alpas. Eric, Alpas, Nikki, and Felicia. We going over God's apparel. God's dress code according to the Bible. Right. How a man and woman should dress. How his children should dress. That's right. Because God has a dress code for his kids. Right. Just how we don't let our kids walk out the house all types of ways. God said, I don't want you walking this earth all types of ways. That's right. That's right. Because you are a representation of God. Right. Read that. The book of 1 Timothy, chapter 2 and verse 9. In like manner also, that women, that women adorn, adorn means to dress. Read. Themselves in modest apparel. What does modesty mean? Anybody know? Covered up. That's why right. Why does that matter? Brothers, does it matter for women that's covered up or not? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Come on, tell her. She's fine. I want to show her off. You want to show off for all the men in love stuff. I don't mind. As long as she's loyal. She's not loyal. She's dressed like that. Right. Yeah. I'll show you why. I'll show you why. Deuteronomy 23, 17. There you go. I'll show you why. Just hear me out. There's something called attention. Right. That's right. And a woman may not physically commit adultery or, or cheat on you physically, but she loves the attention of other men. Right. Do you find that to be a good thing or a bad thing? If your woman dresses to get attention from other men outside of you, you know, you find that good or bad? Uh, right in the middle. Right in the middle? Right in the middle. So it's not good then, if it's in the middle. Okay. <laughs> you know, if I have a six pack and I'm at the beach, somebody's looking at me, huh? I'm like, yeah, I'm No, like, but listen, listen to me out. Hey, y'all mind coming together just a little bit closer? I'm like going like this and. <laughs> I gotta get going. Oh, no, no, just come on, just ask a question real quick. Ask a question. Your real woman, your woman, right? She's fine, she's good. Is that for everybody or just for you? Did I see her naked? Yes, that is naked. What? No, yes, a woman in a bikini is naked. Right, right. right. Out. Yes, it is, man. Nipple. Yes, it is. Are you crazy? I see her nipple out. Are you crazy? You believe a woman in a bikini is not naked? Literally not naked. That's crazy. Bring it out, Ken. Watch this. We, we, we're gonna read it. Listen, listen, brother. Listen, listen, listen. The reason why we in a predicament we in today is because of that very reason. Right. If our woman was covered up, why? Watch what God says is gonna happen. Watch this. Deuteronomy twenty three seventeen. Bring it out. The book of Deuteronomy chapter twenty three verse seventeen. Bring it out. There shall be no. Whore! Get, um, Leviticus 19. Oh, we gonna go back to that. Oh, you know that was in the Bible, didn't you? Y'all know that was in the Bible. Yes, that's in the Bible. God said there should be no whore in the daughters of Israel. But that's not what I wanted. We gonna go back. Leviticus 19, 29. The book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 29. Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore. It's not literally saying put your daughter on the curb. Is talking about dress code. Right. Right. The Bible says, "Don't prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore." Because how you dress is how I'm going to treat you. Right. Right. Example, 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 no. example. You get punched in the face, right? You get punched in the face, and they steal your wallet, steal your phone, and they're running down the street, right? No. They walk. They run past me. I got. I'm in a police officer's outfit. I'm dressed like a police officer. And you say, hey, police officer, stop them, they just robbed me. Right. And I look at you and say, who the hell told you I was a police? <laughs> what would you say? You, you look like a damn police officer. Right. What you mean you're not a police officer? Right. But that's crazy, we understand that logic. But then when we look at a woman that's dressed like a harlot, according to the Bible, we say, oh, she's not a harlot. Right. She's just dressed like that. Right, right. You're gonna be treated how you dress. Right, bring it out. It's just like, oh yeah, for sure. It's just like when you go to a job interview. They're gonna look at you how you dress right. first and foremost to before you even get the job. Right. Right. Your appearance is what matters to get the job. That's right. right. You're telling me everybody in a tie and a suit is a good person. Everybody know what? Everybody in a tie and a suit is a good person. No, but guess what? They are assumed good. Right. 
You see that? They are assumed professional. They are assumed intelligent because of the way they look. So looks matter. We are coming in this dead ass when we say we don't matter how you walk out the house. Back then, it mattered. My right. grandma made sure we didn't walk out of the house crazy. Right. Jesus dressed according to the Bible. Jesus wasn't naked. Right. Jesus had a dress code. Right. No, that's wrong, brother. Yeah. Jesus had a dress code. Everybody in the Bible had a dress code. Right. But God says you know a woman by how they look. Right. Just like you know a man by how they look. Right. If you, you know? walked up here in a dress, I'm going to tell you, brother, you're wrong. Right. And that's effeminate. And that's the white man's ideology. If you walk up and saying, I'm, I'm a woman, I'm just like a woman, but you a man, I'm going to tell you, brother, you're wrong. But right. just code is off. Cool. The same thing with women. I appreciate you picking my brain a little bit. I'll think about it. All right, brother, read that again. The book of Leviticus. Hey, 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 you dropped the, uh, you dropped. The book of Leviticus, chapter 19 and verse 29. Yeah. Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore. Because watch what happens. Watch what happens, read. Lest, Lest the land, Aurora, the land, America, fall to whoredom. What is whoredom? My sister in the bike, what is whoredom? Come on, sister, I, I can't hear you. You're, yeah, there, yeah, you might well come on up. <laughs> what does whoredom mean? H W H O R E D O M. Whoredom. What does that mean? Oh, W H. Yeah, w H O R E D O M. Whoredom. Well, I wouldn't know the exact definition of a whore, of whoredom, but I'm assuming that a whore is a lady who is not of a, of an essence of a lady. She she's not carrying herself well. She's um she's, she's misleading, representing her body. She's there you go. Right. There you go. And you know what? Fornication. Right. Boyfriend, girlfriend, right. STDs, right. baby mamas, right. you understand single parent household, baby daddies, right. that all stems from whoredom. It is what it is. Right. It all stems. We don't, you know what's crazy? We don't, uh, uh, what's the word, magnify marriage anymore. Right. You know? We don't magnify marriage. Right. We let our daughters have boyfriends. We let our sons have girlfriends. Right. You, know? you understand? And then the mom and the daddy. They got girlfriend and boyfriends, right. bringing, bringing men and women in and out the house. Right. Right. What you think the kids get it from? Right. They see it from the parents. That's right. But God says the land will fall to whoredom. Like we don't specialize virginity anymore. Right. You teach your daughters to be virgins. That's right. The significance of being a virgin. Right. To hold it on to your virginity until what? Until you get married. That's right. That's right. We don't teach that today. Right. We don't sit our daughters down and say, hey, God says this, you're special, this is special. Your virginity means everything in this world. Right, it right. is what it is. Right. You know how I know it means everything? Because every man want it. Right. Every man want the virgin. Right. I'm going to just be real. Right. Every man want the virgin. Right. But God says you got to specialize Bring that. It out. Right. You understand? What you got? Uh, Hebrews. 13. Yes. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 13 and verse 4. Marriage is honorable in all. God says marriage is honorable. I mean, nothing else even compares to that. Right. Everything else is dishonorable. Right. Boyfriend, girlfriend, jump off. Uh, oh, what's some other ones? Some other names. Uh, sneaky <laughs> links. Sneaky links. Bust down. Work, bust down. Work, work, work husbands. Work friends with benefits. Bust it, babies. That's an old. That's an old term. That's a Florida term. That's a prize Florida term. Clean up, woman. <laughs> Read that. Marriage is honorable in all. God says marriage is honorable. Read. And the bed undefiled. God said when you marry, what you and your husband do is between you and your husband. Right. You want to jump off the chandeliers, you do your thing. Right. But you marry. That means what? It's all pure in the eyes of God. Right. As long as it's not breaking the fingers 18. Right. I mean, you can't be bringing another woman in your bedroom. Right. You can't be bringing another man and can't be doing threesomes, menage a trois, and all this crazy stuff. Read. But, but whoremongers, whoremongers, and adulterers, and adulterers, whoremongers, and adulterers. Y'all know what adultery is? Cheating on your husband. Cheating on your husband. Cheating on your wife. Right. Unfaithfulness. Not being faithful. Absolutely. God says we don't. But whoremongers and adulterers. Whoremongers and adulterers. Watch this. God will judge. God said he's going to judge you. Right. And to be judged by God means death. That's right. A slow death. Yeah. 
like a STD, right. HIV, right. AIDS, gonorrhea, what's right. the other one? Syphilis. Syphilis. <laughs> All these things that's rampant in Colorado. Right. Y'all know Colorado's on the list for the highest, top yeah, five. top five. Yes. Why are the rates for STI so high right now? You know, we don't entirely know. Um, this is something that we're seeing nationally and also locally. And so over the last five to six years, we continue to have chlamydia rates that are over 25,000 cases in Colorado each year. Um, and gonorrhea rates in the last five to six years have gone up 76%. We've had a threefold increase in syphilis rates. That's crazy. Top five. Top five. That is crazy. You know how scary that is? Right. Bring it out. protection if they're going to let their people sis, even do sis, this. Sis, they shouldn't sis. be doing it. You shouldn't be. See, this is the thing. You saw you just saying protection. Right. No, I'm saying Thank because you. they don't teach. Felicia, you. hear me out. Hear me out. No protection. There should be no married. sex. Right. There should be. Up. How about we teach no sex? Right. How about we teach. Brother, get married. Sister, get married. And not only get married, but watch this. Get that, you got it? You in the spirit, come on. The book of Sirach, chapter six and verse seven. If thou wouldest get a friend, prove him first. God says, go through a proving process. That's right. That means even if you talking to somebody, prove that brother, prove that sister. That means you gotta get uh, uh, in tune and see if y'all even compatible. Right. Don't lay down and then try to be compatible. Right. That aspect is gone. Once you lay down with somebody, if you don't know them, you will never know them. I've decreased my body value and we're not even compatible. Right. There you go. There you go. We're not even compatible, but I right. gave it to you. And now that I find out that you really don't love me, now I'm hurt because I gave it to you. Right. And we are soul tied. Right. That's what sex, sex souls tied. I'm telling you, know. you know every man that you slept with. Right. You remember. It's like every man remember every woman he slept because it's something about it. It's spiritual. That's right. It's spiritual. Read on. Prove him first and be not hasty to credit him. So God says you gotta prove the brother, prove the sister first before you sleep with them because you only have, supposed to have sex when you're married. Right. That means you and somebody can be proving each other according for five years. Right. You only supposed to just lay down with them when you get married. That's right. Because it's, it's something about it. It's something about it because guess what? You're supposed to get that in Tobit. You're supposed to get married and live an old age and die together. That's right. You're supposed to live an old age and die together. When you get older, you're going to need other things to keep y'all together. Because when you get older, sex dwindles. That's right. You're going to need love. You're going to need compassion. You're going to need caring. Y'all going to have to actually care for each other. But if I only loved you based off of your your private part, when we get older, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to go find me somebody else. Bring it out. Or divorce. We understand? But God said you don't like get Tobit 8. 8 and 12. Come on. 8 and 12. The book of Tobit, chapter 8 and verse 6. Bring it out. Thou madest Adam and gavest him Eve, his wife, his what? His wife, his wife, Reed. for an helper and stay a helper. That's what a wife's job is: is right. to help her husband. Right. Today we don't teach that. Right. Hey, I seen something. Uh, uh, I seen a video on TikTok the other day. A sister say her husband was perfect. You know, they doing stuff like that, some crazy stuff. My husband was a perfect man. He <laughs> loved me. He did everything for me. But one day I just came home and I heard a voice that told me, divorce him. Damn, damn. <laughs> the sister say, God told her to divorce her husband. Wow. This is what we pushing in society. Right. What you mean God told you to divorce your husband? Where is that in the Bible? But that's what we teach him. We teach that divorce. divorce. You, you get into a little uh, 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 argument, right. divorce. Right. Y'all don't like each other. Guess what? I've been married. Damn, how long I've been married. I've been my wife for 15 years. Bring it out. We was together since high school, uh, middle school. We've been, we've been married for about 12 years. Something like that. I forget. You got to ask her. <laughs> Y'all think me and my wife get along every day? Bring it out. Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. We don't get along every damn week. Right. Every day. But you know what, damn it? She go sleep her ass right here in this bed. Right. I don't want to hear nothing. Put your foot against my foot and take your ass to sleep. Right. And we go talk about it tomorrow. Right. <laughs> but guess what? But we not teaching that. Right. We teach, oh, you, oh, 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 you have a little argument. Oh, it's the end of the world. Right. 
You know why? Because we watch all these movies. We watch these TV shows that say men are supposed to be perfect. That say women are supposed to be perfect. We're supposed to have a Cinderella story that's fake, that don't exist. It's fake. It's not soap operas. It's not real. You are going to have troubles in the flesh. You're going to have arguments. You're going to have disagreements. It's going to be a time period where you don't like each other. But the love is what's going to keep it together. The commandments of God is what's going to keep it together. IUIC TV, where we are recreating the narrative for the black family. As the Bible says, where there's no vision, the people perish. The media have been vehicles that have conveyed destructive images of God's children, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Not only are we in the streets, but we are on the airwaves and networks compelling our people to come back to their heritage. to IUIC TV. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is 